Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be reacting to Perseverance Rovers Descent and Touchdown on Mars. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I have, so a little fact you may not know about me, I love this stuff. I geek out a lot about, you know, Mars, the missions to Mars, space, NASA, uh, SpaceX, all them. I love this stuff. I I live for this stuff. Anyway, <laughs> probably not quite to that extent. However, this came out a while ago, last month, and I have held off watching this until I've be I've until I've come back to recording again. It has been the longest month, almost almost an entire month, longest month I've ever had. I've been so looking forward to this, but I also wanted to keep it fresh for the for the reaction. Obviously people that are interested in this have already seen it people have done reactions to it already this is just something for me and i can't wait this is the official nasa video of this and it's so fascinating so for those that don't know the background to this is uh recently uh well a few months ago nasa sent a new rover to mars currently on mars is the curiosity rover where we get the pictures and stuff from um at the moment however they have now sent perseverance that finally reached Mars and has uh, successfully landed on Mars, basically. And it's a new rover. It has like loads of cool stuff. It has like a little drone inside it, a little helicopter drone that can. Well, it's it's to test to see if they can fly a little drone with a camera above the rover and around to survey the area. Which, if that works, it'll be the first ever time that humans have been able to fly something on another planet fly something on mars um in in the sense of you know a helicopter <laughs> uh, so it's like a whole like wright brothers moment for mars um and it has a bunch of other cool stuff in i believe it also has like the way it tests the uh the ground now it has like a tube drill this is going off memory from some videos that i watched last month like before it landed and in, in the sort of run up to this um i believe it can like um, to take a sample, it literally takes out like an actual like core sample. You know, like have you ever seen um, when they take samples of ice in like on Earth, and it's like it's just a big tube of ice with different coloured ice, and they get a lot of information about how old it is and things like that from there. Well, I, f I believe there's a drill on Perseverance that can. Oh my God! I've just spotted the first 360 view of Mars. Oh, we're gonna watch that after this. Um, I assume that's the pan pan uh, panorama. Anyway, they can do that on Mars now. They can get the, the like the core samples effectively, um, and I think it'll like seal it up in a tube and just drop it there for a future robot or even humans to collect and uh, examine. Um, and I believe this is so. This time, the reason why I'm so excited for this is this video is going to show us. I think I again, I haven't watched it. It's going to show us the descent onto Mars from the perspective of both the rover and the jetpack that lowers it down on cables to safety, and then the jetpack flies off and like crashes elsewhere um, safely. This is going to be so cool, and I believe it's also, correct me if I'm wrong, it's also the first ever like video on Mars, of Mars, that we've ever done. Like this rover has the ability to do videos now, whereas the previous ones were always like pictures that were stitched together, and um, to make like a you know like an animation or something of the the pictures, uh, like a janky video. Anyway, I'm so excited for this. Um, I'm sure you can see kind of like how <laughs> how much I really enjoy this stuff. Um, but yeah, let's jump into it. I'm so excited. Pop it in full screen. I'm gonna have the captions on so so you can sort of read what they're saying. Hopefully, I'm not in the way. I don't have a second monitor at the moment, so I can't see how much of the screen I'm taking up. So sorry if I'm taking up too much screen. Um, I'll have this obviously linked in the description if you want to check this out yourself as well, like pure as is. Oh, let's do it. You're starting to straighten up and fly right maneuver where the space. Oh, last thing. So the really cool thing about this, um, again, something that not many people, uh, not a lot of people might know, is this entire landing sequence is done automatically. It's not done by NASA, like people controlling it because they, the distance from Mars to Earth, the signal, 
I think it takes like seven minutes or something to get the signal back. Um, so they can't do these like really crucial and and quick maneuvers if something goes wrong. So this is something they're just hoping that their like onboard computer can handle based on what they've uh, programmed into it. So um, obviously when NASA are watching this, when they're getting the details back of whether it's landed or not, it would have landed like it would have either landed or crashed seven minutes ago. And I think they call that like the seven minutes of terror where they're kind of, they're not sure of whether it's actually survived or not for seven minutes because the events already happened. Everything's done what needs to be done and they don't know whether it's crashed or whether it's successfully landed for those seven minutes. And I think just the fact that it's, um, just the fact that this is all automatic kind of adds a lot more, attention to it in a sense like this is really incredible that they've been able to pull this off um oh we can bump this up from auto to 1080p hell yeah right let's do this let's do this we are starting to straighten up and fly right maneuver where the spacecraft will jettison the entry balance masses in preparation for parachute deploy and to roll over to give the radar a better look at the ground Applicate in the cage, shoot deploy. The navigation has confirmed that the parachute has deployed and we are seeing significant deceleration in the velocity. Our current velocity is 440 meters per second at an altitude of about 12 kilometers from the surface of Mars. Heat shield set. Perseverance oh, is now cool. slowed to subsonic speeds and the heat shield has been separated. This allows both the radar and the cameras to get their first look at the surface. Current velocity is 145 meters per second and an altitude of about 10 kilom nine and a half kilometers above the surface. That is incredible. That heat shield just dropping there. Nav filter converge. Velocity solution 3.3 meters per second. Altitude 7.4 kilometers. Now has radar lock on the ground. Current velocity is about 100 meters per second. 6.6 .6 kilometers above the surface. Perseverance is continuing to descend on the parachute. We are coming up on the initialization of terrain relative navigation and subsequently the priming of the landing engines. Our current velocity so is, is about 90 meters per second please. at an altitude of 4.2 kilometers. OVS valid. We have confirmation that the lander vision system has produced a valid solution and part of terrain relative navigation. Priming. TBA is nominal. We have priming of the landing engines. Oh, this must be so tense for them. Back shell set. Current velocity oh. is 83 meters per second at about 2.6 kilometers from the surface of Mars. We have confirmation that the back shell has separated. We are currently performing the divert maneuver. Current velocity is about 75 meters per second at an altitude of about a kilometer off the surface of Mars. Here in safety, Bravo. We have completed our terrain relative navigation. Current speed is about... 30 meters per second, altitude of about 300 meters off the surface of Mars. Oh my god, this like gives me anxiety. We started our constant okay. velocity accordion, which means we are conducting the sky crane, oh, no about to conduct the sky crane maneuver. Sky crane maneuver has started, about 20 meters off the surface. That's the jet pack up in the top top left. That's slowly lowering it. Wow, this is getting insane. signals from MRO. Oh. Tango Delta. Touchdown confirmed. Touchdown. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars, ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. Oh my God, that was so cool. Oh, right. Let's just look. Let's just look back through that quickly. So, this is really interesting. So you're seeing here in the background, obviously this is when the parachute first deploys when it comes into the uh, Mars atmosphere. It's interesting to see like the, just the color of the Mars sky. Obviously this might be too too high, but it's, yeah, it's really weird. But then if we progress it further, 
I think this is the first video of Mars. It's really cool just watching the heat shield just go down there. I assume because the um, atmosphere is so thin, it won't like burn up as it's going down. So that's why it's just dropping and not on fire or anything. Because um, there isn't that much resistance. And look at that. It's so like weird to get like a perspective of, how, of actually how high it is here. Because um, the Mars terrain is so unusual. Like this really confused me over here when um, when they're like this high. When the thrusters start and you see it, like this to me, I thought this was like really high up. It is high up, but it's not as high as I was thinking. When I saw that, I was like, wait a minute, are they like really, really close to the ground? But then you can see here where it gets dropped and it's not actually that close to the ground. It is close to the ground, but not as close as I was thinking here because this kind of looks like you've got your phone and you've like put it right up to some pebbles on the ground or something. But this is so cool. Like the fact that this is this is a jetpack that's just loaded it down on some cables and is slowly, gently letting it land. And then what it does after that, once it's landed, it detaches from the rover and then just ramps up that thrust and flies off to do like a crash landing elsewhere, away from the rover to be extra safe. Um Oh my god, that's so cool. That is so cool. that oh right let's move on to this 360 picture quickly so the thing i love about these and the pictures of mars is in my head like previously whenever you thought of mars you've always thought of a really red orangey red planet really rusty planet but I think, again, correct me if I'm wrong, I think a lot of the time that's because we've colour corrected pictures of it from the satellites. Because they're not taken in standard colour pictures, they're taken in like infrared and things like that. And then colourised afterwards. Um, so to see it kind of like this and see... Oh! Oh, no way! Oh, oh cool! Wow, okay, I thought it was just going to turn on its own. So to see the the Mars like landscape like this is so weird because it's not that alien orangey red like soil and things that you were uh, like dirt that you were you saw previously. It's it's actually very not alien. It's very kind of like you can imagine this. You can you can kind of imagine being here, can't you? Because it's it's so like earth-like almost like a you know like a desert in earth, uh, earth or something like that quite like an arid area but then like just the fact to think that this is ooh, i didn't know you could do that oh my god this is so cool though this is the rover it's so complex Well, they kind of have to make it as like as complex as possible, but also as simple as possible, so it lasts for as long as possible, I suppose. Um, oh, that's so cool! But just like look at that, it, it looks like you can actually imagine being there. It doesn't feel like an alien planet anymore. It feels like somewhere you can go. It is somewhere we're gonna go, isn't it? That's so cool. That's so cool. I love it. Yeah, that's really cool. I believe um, this rover had so um, it it was able because of the technology has advanced so much. We've been able to land somewhere that we've never been able to land before, um, which I believe is in either in or near like a crater. Maybe this whole thing is like a giant crater that used to be we think used to be a pond, like a giant lake or an ocean or something. Um, and we've never really been able to land here because it's been we haven't had the accuracy for it and there's always been the concern that if we try and do it then you know a crash or something would go wrong this is the first time we've been able to land in here and they think that this is like the most likely place similar to earth where you can find signs of life because it used to be like an ocean or a giant lake or something 
along those lines. So that's why they've landed her. Um, I could be completely wrong there, but I'm pretty sure that's what I read at some point. Um, yeah, wow. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it just, I can't get over just how normal it looks. Because whenever you, yeah, I've already said like the reason why, but that's so cool. That's so cool. It's kind of eerie as well, isn't it? Kind of just how how empty it is. And the sun's like a different colour because of the the atmosphere. That's so cool. I love it. I'm gonna I'm gonna end it there and stop. <laughs> and stop just like gushing over it. That was so cool. And see the landing as well. Oh, that was I was so excited for that. Right, I'm gonna end it there. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if there's anything you want me to check out and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.